What is going on people? I am the SNES Geek and welcome to another review. That's right, it's finally Friday. It's your favorite day of the week. It's my favorite day of the week. Everyone loves Fridays. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a game for another console. That's right, for the first time ever since this show got rebooted back in March, I will finally talk about a game that's not on an eternal console. Wrap your head around that. <coughs> Sorry. But... Before I talk about that game, let's actually talk about the time in which game this game was released in. So it was November of 2000. The PlayStation 2 had just be had just had been out on the Japanese market for six months, and it was about to be launched in Europe and North North America. E expectations were really high since the PlayStation had done really well, and so there's gonna be a whole new generation of game consoles along with a whole new generation of games. And this sixth generation had a lot to live up to after what the previous generation had introduced. See, see this on games on CDs, which was crazy at the time, and so the hype built up for the for the PlayStation 2, and the launch finally came out in late November of 2000. And there was one game, one game in this entire in this entire launch lineup. That was a golf game, and that game is what we're gonna talk about today. Swing Away Golf. This game has absolutely no reception online. I only found it at, at the retro gaming store. And after looking into more into this game, it turns out this is absolutely this has barely any reviews whatsoever. Only a few at launch, but it's not like a game that everyone talks about or or hidden gem or such. It's just a standard golf game, but I was curious to pick it up since this is the first golf game to land on, on the PlayStation 2. So does it live up to the legacy that the PlayStation generation has introduced with golf games? Well, let's find out. Okay, so like every game up to this point, it had to be it it, ha it had to open up with an FMV, and this FMV really confuses me. Because I just don't know what this game wants you to sell it to be. Is it a cartoony golf game or a, si or, or a golfing sim simulator? Because one, the characters have like a cartoony art style, but then they look real like actual humans. And while there are computer effects which are obviously cartoony, I just don't know if this wants to be a cartoony golf game or a simulator. It really is off-putting where you don't where you cannot really determine what the type of game it's gonna be. Once you actually do, once you actually watch the intro. I mean, our intro is supposed to engage the player. Okay, so now we're out at the golf course, and the, and now it's time to play. And this is where one of the wor worst things of this game happened. The frame rate is effing down the drain. You seriously look at this footage here. Just look at this footage and see what you see. The only thing I saw was like 20 frames at max, maybe 30. It's really weird because in a golf game, if you want to progress. If you want to get the least number of shots on a course, then there had to be a precise timing system. So you actually know, oh, this is where I hit the button. But no, it lies as heck. And you have to, I just don't know when you're gonna push the button to actually get your club going. It, and the thing is, it differs depending on how long you are on the course. I can't really tell. There's basically, this is basically the entire, this is basically the graphics. It's real. It's really simple. The only thing that moves are the characters. The, the or the only thing that moves are the are the characters. And the, these golf courses are just covered in trees. I mean, yeah, sure, there are pictures in the background, but you don't exactly like you don't, don't really like come to these to these pictures. You just see them in the background, and and, and it's it's it, it it just feels it's pretty lazily put put together. As for the caddy, well, like I said, there is there is a caddy. But you don't really need to listen to to, to, to the caddy because to because what because you have a mini map on the side and then you can pick your different go, go, golf clubs and it doesn't matter where you are because you will always see what you need on the screen instead of listening to, to the caddy and that kind of defeats the purpose of having a caddy because a caddy should inform you and let and let you know oh this is how you're gonna do it this is what what you should do not just pull like comments yeah sure you can listen to them but if you want to be, get good at this game you just have to play the game yourself the caddy might as well not, not, not even be there and even if they were to give, to give advice it's it's so silent and, 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 or, and so insignificant it's just not worth trying to like uh, listen to them it's kind of sad really because there is something I really like to this game and that is the graphics 
I mean, the character designs look really good. I mean, for early PS2, they look like actual people. And you know, I did say that this game does have a cartoony art style. I did not say that was a bad thing. It's it, it's charming. It's kind it's kind it's kind of cute. And I think that myself, the game is pretty fun. Yeah, sure, it's not as fun as say, like everybody's golf. That is a pretty solid game. I mean, this game pales in comparison to the likes of everybody's golf. But both games got got their strengths and weaknesses. I would say that this game delivers in in charm. Because I really do get invested in, 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 in these characters, as well as their motivations. And also, the music is, isn't that bad. I mean, it's your generic golf music, but you know, you could do worse. Any other golf game out there. It has a charm, it is pretty decent, but it also is held back and very, and very flawed, mostly because of the frame rate. So that was this review, guys. I hope you liked this review. If you do, then, then then click the like button, leave a comment, share this video, and and consider subscribing. All right, and with that review done, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.